Swaggin', swaggin', it's the cookout. Swaggin', swaggin', it's my cookout channel. Yeah. Uncle Swag, welcome to the show. Yeah. It. Yes, I do respect. I'm analyzing your rhymes and making sure it's correct. Swiggle Swaggle. Welcome to Uncle Swag's premiere show of Uncle Swag's Cookout. Today, for a very special treat, we're going to make Russian borscht in honor of my Russian wife, beautiful, great cook. And I've always wanted to make this. You don't have it every day. You can serve it hot or cold. And uh, it's delicious. So, your basic ingredients, which vary, but ground lamb, chicken thighs, chicken broth, beef broth as your stock. You can use either. I prefer both. Got your knives. We're going to have cabbage. Uh, we'll probably take a couple beets, a carrot, a couple of tomatoes, onions, garlic, fresh parsley, onions, potatoes, a little bit of ginger, the old salt and pepper. Key ingredient, spices directly from Russia. Privyet Kogdila. Send a shout out to uh, Always Fresh Apparel, who's helping me with the filming of this video. Flip it around, Jake. Let him know where you're at. No, he's saying no. You guys know I'm over here. He's there. We're going to just cut up the cabbage. Again, we'll probably fast forward this part. I'm going to use two tomatoes. Cut those any way you want, really. Again, I like them a little thicker. They're going to shrink up, but they are going to add a lot of texture, color, and flavor. So you don't really have to worry about getting them fine. You know, I'm not real particular on that. What I'm looking for is flavor, flavor, flavor. Carrot. Well, that's looking awfully like a witch's finger. We're cutting that out. No need for that. I'm not exactly sure. My wife didn't really tell me how to cut the carrots, but I'm going to just go in little slices. And obviously, getting a serious workout, we're going to switch knives. A little better. Good Lord, I need a chainsaw. For God's sake, son, Uncle Swag. We don't want to see Uncle Swag's finger on the premiere show going in there. It's a nice color, right? Nice color. Yes, yes, the methods. I am not a trained chef. I just cook for flavor. Bam! Okay, we're moving on to the beets. Cut off the extraneous, whatever you call it. I'm not really sure. Again, this is a learning experience in terms of culinary training. Kiss my ass. Okay, so we're working with the beets and the collage of colors, I like to call it. Collection of colors, collage of colors. It's beautiful. I'm gonna again, go with the flow of big chunks. Don't be afraid of big chunks, feeling like you gotta slice and dice. I think the flavor oozes out when you have the bigger chunks. You slice and dice, you're losing some flavor. Is that a fact? Who knows? Is that the law that I go by? Yeah. Love garlic. Number one, adds kick flavor. Number two, keeps the devil away if you're having issues with that. But more importantly, garlic is one of the most healthy foods you can possibly eat. Good for digestion. Has love, plenty of vitamins, plenty of antioxidants, and if you eat it, you don't want to be around somebody, they're leaving because it reeks. Okay, so a little bit of ginger. Next is the fresh parsley. Just wanna, you know, parsley's gonna shrink up too. It's nothing magical about that. Remember, you're gonna need sour cream also. And we'll review quickly what we have. We're moving to the onions. Again, the unorthodox methods of Uncle Swag. Potatoes, you can add lots of potatoes. I think uh, I have two. I think that's going to be enough. Again, my thing is chunky and funky. Remember those two words, chunky and funky. We'll review the cabbage. 
tomatoes, carrots, beets, onions, garlic, more beets, and spit. <laughs> Parsley, more onions, potatoes. The key ingredients, the Russian spices, da. Salt and pepper, and we are good to go. So we're on phase two. Mmm, mmm, good. Everybody uses it. Olive oil. We have to get the beets fried up. So let me grab a pan down here. Got one handy. Go ahead and, you know, you're going to want to let them soak in. You don't want to burn them. So you want to heat up your oil right here on one of these stoves. This stove will be for the stock. You hear that sizzle? The smells start coming out. It's too bad you can't smell it. It's delicious. Again, on, on the beets, they take a while to cook and then you're going to put them in eventually. Key is 20 minutes. Keep them covered. So, uh, we didn't have time to defrost the lamb, but we're going to go ahead and put the ground lamb in. It'll cook up and we'll mix it up. Going to add lots of flavor. Lamb is very flavorful. It's rich and it's a little bit better, I think, than beef. We're going to do a little chicken stock. Remember, I like to use both. You don't have to do any. Remember, cooking is subjective, right? Subjective. That means you can do whatever the hell you want. And nobody, you're not following the right recipe. Kiss my ass. I'm Uncle Swag. I do what I want. So we got chicken thigh, a little more flavorful than a breast, a little bit cheaper. Just because you're always looking for economics. Get her on the edge. Now we have all of our broth now. We have the lamb, some rush on spices. And we're gonna let that chicken get a little cook on. Okay. You want the vegetables that cook the longest, take the longest to cook to get in there. You know, again, we're gonna get a few bits and pieces of parsley and onions. Do you think I care? No. Beats are going. Listen to that sizzle, my nizzle. Sizzle, my nizzle. Chunky but funky and swiggle swaggle. A few sayings that will help you remember how to cook borscht. Jake went to work and while he was working phase five I dumped everything in. We've had several dishes already but look at how everything is kind of melded together. It's kind of a stew, kind of a soup. I like my borscht extra thick. I like a lot of vegetables, a lot of meat and a little bit less broth which is delish. Just mmm. Fantastic. I am so thrilled with the way this came out. So there you have your borscht. Now what you want to do when you have it to this point, you serve it hot. What you would like to do is take out what I used here. Check his toast. Okay, but you can make your own bread just for the sake of time. We're going to go with the toaster oven. Pop it in. Pop her in there. Very exciting to have my nephews over to enjoy my first Uncle Swag cookout meal. I'm excited, as you can tell, because you know, the longer the borscht goes, the better it gets tomorrow. It'll be better. The next day, better. What you want to do is take the fresh parsley. This is a sprig, by the way. Just sprinkle it in there. It adds a little color, a little freshness, a little bit of flavor. But the real, and the Russians love this, the real deal is the sour cream. Right on top, then you stir it in later. Nice sour cream, you can get it at any store. Sour cream, and then little sprigs just to kind of make it look nice. There's your borscht. Enjoy, boys, and we'll be back for dessert. And the final phase, Uncle Swag's cookout, Todd's dessert. So the reviews from the borscht, wife from Russia loved it. I loved it. Two nephews loved it. Jake on film, always fresh apparel, word. And nephew Josh, who you know as well. He should get a channel. Anyway, Jake, if you want to focus in real quickly on our throw together dessert. Now, I cheated. I didn't make any of this from scratch. Didn't have time. But, you know, like I said, no culinary training. I just do what I do. Angel food cake in slices from Freddy's. Fresh raspberries and fun that's right who knows who invented it 
it's gooey, it's caramelly, it's vanilla, and it's flan. What better way could you have before you eat your delicious Russian meal than Davai Pokashium? Let's eat Uncle Swag out.